Okay, so if you've read the title, you already know what this video is going to be about. Creating a lot of copies of text files, audio files, and image files. Now, uh, before I begin, I have to say that this is for educational purposes only, and uh, uh, don't make a virus with this, okay? Let's start with the text files, because uh, in my opinion, they are uh, the easiest. So I have this function, create text files. Um, which takes in an amount. Um, so first we create a folder uh, which will just contain our text files. Now you don't have to create folder, you can just uh, do it on a D drive, but I don't want to mess my D drive up. Uh, so then we create a num variable which is just gonna control how many we do. So we add one and then we create a pad, which is just a folder, text file, plus a string uh, of a number, and dot .txt. Don't forget to do this. Then uh, we we'll just do file access, dot .open, uh, pad, write, and we store a string, which is, in my case, just, hey, this is a text file. Let me show you that this is, in fact, working. Well, just uh, a small number, like 100, but you can put in as, as much as you want. Uh, I mean, it might, it might blow your PC up, but I'm, I'm not sure. So, uh, yeah, it's almost instanced with text files. Uh, image files, in my, uh, from my experience, take the longest. Audio files and text files uh, are pretty fast. So here you can see that we did, in fact, create 100 copies of text file and it says hey this is a text file uh, now an image file um, so here I just create an already variable image which is just image.new and the function create image files um, this pretty much is the same the beginning except uh, of course different directory and we do this image.load uh, this um, this loads a .jpeg or .png file from your game files. So here I have a melon.png, it just loads that. Okay, um, and you know, controlling the amount uh, and pad, just uh, this image number .jpeg. This can be .png uh, and you would save it as a P JPEG, but you can uh, save it as a PNG. But with a JPEG, you can also set the quality. So you can set it like 0 0.1. Um, so I don't, I don't know how bad this will be. Let's check it out. 100. Okay, let's check it out. I actually have no clue how bad it will be. Oh man, this sure is good quality, my friends. This is this is peak quality. Now audio files, um, pretty much the same here. Uh, of course, different directory. Uh, no need to load anything. Oh, I forgot to say. Uh, I just preload an audio file in the game files, which in my case is just uh, ringthing.mp3. Just you can. Uh, here's a pro tip, you can just uh, press Ctrl and drag it in, and we'll do that. That's neat. And so we are controlling, controlling, uh, pad, just sound.mp3. Um, I don't know if it will work with .wav or another type of sound. I just did mp3 and it kind of works. It's, that's up to you to check. So a uh, variable file, we just open a this pad and write and read. I don't actually know if you read here. Uh, and in file, we store buffer, which is audio, uh, this, which is get the data from from the audio. So let's check out how if it works. I'll actually set it to a, a thousand. Because, as I said, uh, audio files and text files, uh, they get created much faster than image files. As you can see. As you can see. 
as you can see we have a thousand audio files yeah I'll just as you can see it works audio actually plays yeah that's that's actually that's about it yeah my final note is uh, don't don't send it to a million and send to your friends because that will kill their PC most likely um, so don't do that please also, I uh, forgot to mention in the beginning that this is in Godot 4.0, uh, release candidate 1, but uh, you can do this in Godot 3.5, I'm pretty sure. Uh, there will be some differences in code because, uh, you know, you just could get changed a lot in Godot 4. Uh, most importantly, I'm going to show you this. Uh, instead of doing this, uh, dir access dot make dir absolute, you'll have to do it by dir, it will, uh, it will be called directory, directory dot new. And then with this variable, you'll have to, uh, yeah, instead of using just dir access. That's, I think, the main difference. Um, so, yeah, hopefully, hopefully that helps out.